Let's look at the clip view sample box. As your work develops with Ableton, you'll be spending more and more time editing the various parameters located here. Live offers a variety of time-stretching algorithms for audio clips. You can select which mode you want to use in the clip view sample box. But which mode do you select for which type of audio in use? What do you use for drums, what do you use for vocals, and what do you use for pads? Beats mode. As you might guess, beat modes works best for audio clips that are strong in rhythm. Beats Mode's algorithms are set up to maintain transients in the clip. This helps alive with the accuracy of warping that clip. We enter the window called Granulation, Resolution and select from a menu of options. For the most accurate results, particularly with percussive material, choose Transients as your selection. Meanwhile, the Preserve control preserves divisions in the sample when warping. To create new or maintain specific beat divisions, regardless of the audio clip's contents, you can select one of the fixed note values here. This can create some very interesting clip variations or new percussive parts when used experimentally. Let me show you. First of all, let's play a clip at 120 and then slow it right down. Next. Let's head to the last section, the transient loop mode chooser. And select loop off, which is the first one. As you can hear, this introduces silence depending on the fixed note value selected here. So if we choose a quarter note or an eighth, it will dramatically affect what we hear. Each transient plays to its end and then stops. Any remaining time between the end of the transient and the start of the next will be silent. Next up we have loop forward. If we use the same note settings as we used in loop off, you can hear the big difference. In this instance, Instead of silence, the playback then jumps to the middle of the audio segment and continues looping until the next transient occurs. All right, let's try the last option now. Loop back and forth, and again, let's listen. That's a good example. Here we have the same formula as loop forward except that critically the additional audio used to fill in the silence is reversed. The transients envelope slider applies a volume fade to each segment of audio. Set at 100 there is no value. Longer values help to smooth any clicks or glitches which personally you might like to keep, whereas shorter ones can be used to apply rhythmic pumping effects. Okay, let's move on.